What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ford Era and today we're here at Vintage Chariots. It's pretty much residential collection, I guess. Yeah. And Ryan's got yeah, out in the street. A, dude, I don't even know how like I don't even know how to intro it. That wasn't even a good intro, it's cause how do we explain what's going on over here? You know what? My neighbors absolutely love me, I'm sure you can tell. Um It's but... not even all your trucks. You know, it's it's not everything that we have, but it's, uh, it does the trick for the neighborhood and happy to show you what I got. Um, Dude, this freaking high boy. Yeah. I didn't know that I needed one until I came here. Yeah, well, so this is like one of my newest, I guess, toys. Um, this is an, a 32 Ford high boy. And what makes this one pretty special is it's an original Henry Ford steel um, Roadster. The body and the frame are 100% original. And um, it was primered, prepped, and then a, uh, a later model 8BA uh, flathead V8 was put into the car to give it a little bit more power and spice things up a little bit. So Make it so, a hot rod. Absolutely. Ooh. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, so this is kind Dude, of that like... That is so uh, period correct. Oh, you know, it, it's... I don't even know enough about it, I'll be quite honest with you. I, I just loved it. I've always been a fan of the early hot rods, and I knew in my head I always was drawn to the 32s, and I told myself if I was gonna get something, it would be as close as possible to original or original-esque. Um, so this is it, yeah, so this is... This looks like someone in the 60s went racing. You know what I mean? Like this is, yeah. th that is OG. Uh-huh. You can't really get more classy, especially like where you're at in SoCal. Like this is what they were building in the 60s to go race down the LA River. Absolutely, and uh, I think that's what I appreciate about it most is the fact that it was kept to, you know, that original style. Um, the body and the frame, as, as I was told, was stored for over 50 years um, and then built by the previous owner after he acquired it through his friend. And um, he slowly but surely put this together and then I acquired it earlier this year, so I'm awesome. stoked about it. And then, yeah, there's our logo, and uh, I, think I, love it's the a nice, I think it's a nice taste for the uh, the brand, you know, given the old style. And It's course, a Ford. It's a Ford, so what, what goes wrong there, huh? Um, this thing, holy yeah. cow. <clears throat> this is kind of a special one. Um, this is a genuine 68 Shelby GT350. Um, what you can't tell immediately is that it's a, um, it's actually one of the Hertz Run Racer cars. Um, it's one of 223 that were made for the 68 model year. Um, this is a factory Highland Green car. It was repainted about five years ago, but it does feature 100% um, original interior and the powertrain is numbers matching. So wheels are a little bit too modern for me. I'm gonna they say them Shelby on them. Hey, but you know what? <laughs> Shelby, so it works. Um, to a lot of guys, that's, that is what it is, right? Absolutely. And then the... Um, I love the, those hood pins. The stripes were added when it was repainted, which is a nice touch. They were added and, and painted silver, which frankly, I don't think you really see that often, so it kind of makes it pretty unique. But um, all of the um, Hertz Renner Racer cars uh, of this era all came the same way with the J-Code 302. They were all automatic and they were all optioned with power steering. Um, the engine bay is pretty dirty, but it's all pretty much there. It's all original. Um, got the Shelby tag. And uh, frankly, the story that was given to me was that when it was repainted about five years ago, uh, the family had basically decided, hey, let's, let's give her a refresh. The father had passed away. Um, it's only had two owners from new, so that's kind of cool. Um, but if it was me, I wouldn't have repainted it because the, the pictures that I saw of it just had some really nice patina. Um, and I think it would have made it have just a little a more, more fun character. driver. Oh yeah, it's yeah. absolutely a fun driver. You know, there might be some poo pooers out there on the automatic, but it still does the trick. It sounds it's good. It's factory that way. And know? it is factory that way. So yeah. it's special regardless. It's one of 223. And this one was um, uh, originally delivered to the LA area at Robert Loud Ford of Pasadena. That is so, cool. Yeah. That's very cool. We'll move on to the next one, which is a- uh, A truck, we finally get the truck. Yeah, this is a seven, that's a 75 high boy over there. Um, that's a custom package. It's pretty much as bare bones as you would get for the era. Um, it's gonna be four wheel drive. Power steering was uh, optional and optioned on this truck. Uh, I don't think anything special. You know, these three quarter ton high boys of this era, they sat on a 
you know, narrower chassis. Um, so they have that special look that everyone now recognizes as a high boy from yep. 67 to 77. Um, and this one is a manual, uh, manual truck, four speed. Pretty basic. This is pretty much as Spartan as it gets for for the yeah, year. There's you know, little basic, options. That basic have. trim, yeah. And um, yeah, that wheels. trim I don't see often on at all. The very thin. Yeah. Yeah, just by itself without the rubber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the just the basic. Because uh, most of the dent side high boys of this era would have had uh, the later trim that you'll see on this blue one, or not the later trim, but just the more the, the more the common race, trim yeah, the with track. the with the rubber yeah. uh, insert in there as well. And that's that's her, that's yellow bird, I guess. And uh, this is 74, 74 high boy. This is a factory two-tone, regular and deluxe tone um, truck. I'm forgetting the names of the colors, but I think it was limestone green and some other form of darker green. But this is actually kind of a mutant truck. Most of... Uh, your fans probably wouldn't appreciate that it has a Chevy 350 in there. Yeah, whoever doesn't there's, like it. But there's, you know what, there's a good story behind it. Um, as I was told, this truck was purchased new in 74 uh, by a Baja race team, and they used it down in Mexico as a tow rig. And the reason they swapped out the engine was for the purpose of uh, utilizing the cheaper gas in Mexico, because I guess Chevy uh, ran a little bit better on that, that gasoline out there. But um, Yep, so this is uh, 74. It does have an axle swap with disc brakes in the front. Nice. 74 wouldn't have had disc brakes from the factory, but um, a couple upgrades. And then the interior has been redone a little bit with nice stereo and carpeting and got the old school winch that you, it's hard to find now too. So mm. kind of cool. It's cool. I like the way they did the bumper. Yeah, I do like that. It's interesting, especially the brush guard. I haven't seen a lot of brush guards like that one before. Yeah. Really cool. Looks like they used to use it for towing. They, this must have been towed behind yes. something. Yes. Yeah. And what we got here? To, uh, the next 75. Um, this is Wind Blue and Wimbledon White. This truck is, if I recall correctly, about one of 23 or so that were ever made in Ranger package in this trim for 75. So it's a pretty rare truck um, from a color perspective. But uh, one of my favorite trucks that I own, uh, just because it's kind of, in my opinion, the, the quintessential Ford color combo. It is. Um, and so you can see all the shit that's in there. It smells like a 70s Ford. <laughs> that's how you know it's original. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if it doesn't smell like that, it's not original. <laughs> so this truck is a, is a dry truck that was originally delivered uh, to the Las Vegas area. And it was converted from an original four-speed manual to an automatic C6 transmission, but it is uh, factory four-wheel drive, so it's got the uh, free, uh, what, what, the name's escaping me, but free locking or the locking hub in the front. Yep. And it came optioned with the, the toolbox. Uh, let's see, what else does she have? Oh, she's got the, uh, the cab lights, which are kind of cool too. That was cool. I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> Probably won't cut it out, actually. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, okay, so what do we got here? We got a 76 High Boy now. And this is one of about 20 something. I gotta remember what the Marty report said on this one, but this is a 76 High Boy. So this will be the first year of factory disc brakes for uh, these trucks. And this is um, optioned in Hatteras Green and Wimbledon White. Um, it's also a four speed manual with power steering truck with the sliding rear window and the uh, smaller of the mirrors mirrors yeah uh, this is a ranger xlt package so it's also got you know the lower trim it's got a little bit of a dressier interior or it used to it doesn't look you know it's kind of the it's not a platinum it's definitely not a platinum and, it, and she's got some bumps and bruises so she's definitely seen uh, quite a bit in her life but uh, I do like the look. This is actually an OBS style wheel. So it's got the eight lugs from the, the 90s era trucks on there and it actually looks pretty good. Yeah. But um, yeah, another high boy. It's got a really cool vibe. <laughs> and then this one here, we got a 71 bump side high boy. This one is pretty special. This is a Ranger package truck in two tone. Um, I am forgetting, oh, it's a Regis Red. Regis Red with Wimbledon White. 
It's one of eight trucks that were ever made in this color combo and in Ranger trim for 71. So that's kind of cool. 360 V8, four speed manual. Power steering was added to the truck so it makes it drive really nice. You know, these bump side era trucks, they did not come typically with power steering for uh, in the four by fours, but it was added and it looks really makes it cool. for a nice driver. It looks really nice. I like the step. It's an interesting color combo. Yeah. So the red, this is that red or this was a repaint? So it is a repaint. However, it's very close to original. Um, it has, it comes off kind of like a, almost like a plum yeah. um, color. I'm not the hugest fan of it, but it's unique for, for what it's worth. And, That's awesome. But you know what? I, I have to appreciate all of them for their color um, and trim and, and, you know, all of them being pretty much dry trucks. So it's nice to preserve those things. What about this monster over here? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll carry it on to uh, Alfonso here. Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, this is my 79 F350. Um, got a 460 in it, a 70 Lincoln engine in there. Um, run 488 gears on it, Detroit locker. Uh, I built this one from the ground up. What was the purpose to build it though? You gotta tell them. Yes, cause I love muddy. Exactly, I mean, to use it. To use it. I mean, I mean this, this truck is beautiful. Right now in this camera, the shine on it, fantastic. I can't even believe you go mudding with it. Yeah. And, I was excited and, when he told me that he wheels it. And you know, I mean, I've owned it for going on 20 years now. Really good friend of uh, myself and Ryan's. Uh, I, we, I purchased this truck off of him and it has uh, sentimental value to me. You've been doing this for over 20 years? Yeah. No, oh, no, 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 no. Our other mutual friend. Right? Yes. Yeah. Gotcha, mutual gotcha. Friend. Yes. Yeah. And, and you know, good friend Ryan, he ran the the, the VIN plate on it, the Marty Report, and it came out to be a pretty special truck. Yeah. Uh, free wheeling package. And when Ryan told me that, he told me, you screwed up because you took everything off of it. But eventually, Hopefully by next year sometime. So 20 years ago when you had it, it looked like a freewheeling? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Black with the orange oh. trim. Right? Was it rusty and that's why you repainted it or it was nice? I just, for some reason, I thought the decal was, it was, I wasn't having it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's way more heartbreaking than just, yeah. because there's a lot of people that oh, I yeah. see all the time that have freewheeling trucks that they bought that are painted. Oh yeah. So they had no idea. It's different when it was one. Absolutely. And you de Bad it. Oh, yeah, but exactly. it's still, you made it wait. It's really cool. Yeah. What size are those wheels and tires? Uh, 40, I'm running 42 inch uh, KMC Machete B locks on it, running 1410 yoke. What size on are the it. wheels? The wheels are 17s. Dude, those yeah. things right there look serious. By 9s. Running uh, Atlas uh, Springs on it, which I highly recommend. Um, and then the interior, changed it up a bit. Changed it Ooh, up a nice. bit. I mean, put the. I like how you did the seat. Is that like a like a 90, 80s, 90s? It's seat? actually a, a 80s, yeah. It's a mid 80s. Looks great. Yeah, mid 80s uh, seat in there. I like that it has the armrest to, yeah. to fold it's, down. I mean, it's really comfortable. <laughs> and uh, what's your Instagram? Uh, 67 Ford 79. Heck yeah. I guess we tag you back in, Ryan. Okay. Well, I guess this is the, uh, this is kind of the star, I guess. Um, this is a 66 uh, factory F350 crew cab. And we're not gonna give you guys too much info, by the way, because we're gonna do a full what the truck with this. Yeah, but pretty special all around. Um, she's, I guess you'd consider the unicorn of Ford trucks. Um, but we'll get into the details on the next one, but she's pretty special. Give you guys a little walk over. A couple so little what, alterations, but. What's the, like, what's the setup on it that we see? Like the tire setup, what's been yeah, done, so, what kind of axles? Um, it's got an original 352 V8, um, the original one to the truck, and it's um, made it to a four-speed transmission with 37-inch military tires, 16 and a half uh, inch uh, camper wheels. So they have um, the larger width, uh, they believe it's nine and a half inch, uh, with rims, and then it uses the earlier generation bottle cap uh, uh, hubcaps cap. that were utilized on there just to kind of give it more of a classic look. Mm -hmm. um, but there's been a couple alterations other than the color. You know, the color for now will just 
you know, say that it's a Sahara beige, but it was formerly like a construction yellow truck. So. Gotcha. I like I like it. The only thing it, I would do is probably put a white top on it. Yeah. Try I've to tie like it together. I, I think it's stunning. I love that it's a 350. Yeah. You don't see a lot of those. A short bed 350. That's yeah. really cool. Oh yeah. And then they swapped it into a 4x4. I mean, it's just a beautiful truck. Yeah. I'm excited to uh, to do a full video on it. Absolutely. And then I guess we'll talk about your biggest monster. Just kidding. Oh, we got big red hair. Riley, what's up, brother? <laughs> I took your truck for a spin. I gave it a couple of dents. It's supposed to be a bump, but now it has a few dents. So sorry about that. <laughs> but anyways, beautiful uh, truck. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely did, but this isn't over. I'm about to pull the drone out. Gonna get some cool drone footage. So we'll see you after that. You guys enjoyed that this was pretty cool brian's got a crazy collection and these aren't even all his trucks these are just the ones that run and drive so as always if you can like the video subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content if you have any questions comments drop them down below and uh head over to fordera.com we got all types of merch i got hats t-shirts hoodies stickers all kinds of stuff catch you later